You probably know Jim Gaffigan as the Hot Pockets guy. Or maybe you know him as the dad joke cracking married father of five kids, who somehow can make saying grace and eating pizza with a bunch of relatively well-behaved teenagers in his YouTube series, Dinner with the Gaffigans, a guffaw-inducing, tears-running-down-your-cheeks experience. Or maybe you just think of him as that self-deprecating and perpetually hungry comedian who's nailed our national obsession with all-you-can-eat buffets. You're about to get familiar with a new version of Jim Gaffigan, though. Meet the Pale Tourist, in which Jim visits two strangely incongruous countries, Canada and Spain, so he can crack us up about their foods and cultures, while getting in some digs at the USA along the way. Do you keep your eye out for gorgeous husbands when you stream your favorite reality show? Certainly you can expect at least one nasty cat fight between its female stars, complete with bleeped out curse words, maybe some hair pulling, or even wine glass throwing. But you also can anticipate some major eye candy, as one of the gorgeous husbands bravely intervenes like a knight in shining armor. While having a gorgeous husband may not be a requirement to become a reality star, it sure seems like that's the case when you look at some of TV's hottest pairings, Don't Be Tardy's Kim Zolkiak and her football hubby Croy Bierman, Brie Bella Total Bellas and her WWE stud Daniel Bryan, and Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Denise Richards and Aaron Fipers, to name a few. No amount of armor can protect reality stars and their hunky husbands from the ugly price of fame, which can lead to infidelity and even divorce. Fortunately, there's hope for many stars who've managed to stay above the fray and enjoy a happy marriage with their gorgeous husbands. Let's take a look at some of them, and their gorgeous husbands. Reality star Kim Zolkiak Bierman calls her younger husband the love of her life Kim Zolkiak Bierman knows her man is hot. This new stand-up series, Jim Gaffigan, The Pale Tourist, is streaming now on Amazon Prime. In an exclusive interview with Mashed, Gaffigan talked about what he eats, reflected on his experiences with foods ranging from clam juice to a Spanish delicacy called Tiger Nuts while filming The Pale Tourist, and revealed how he really feels about Hot Pockets. Why Jim Gaffigan launched his Pale Tourist Amazon series in Canada and Spain Your Pale Tourist series launched with live shows in Canada and Spain. Why did you choose those two particular countries? The initial idea for doing a special on a certain geographic area started in Asia. I'd shot this special, quality time, and I had this tour in Asia, and my family, my kids had spring break. You can spot plenty of shirtless pics of her gorgeous husband, Croy Bierman, regularly on her Instagram page. She started dating the then 24-year-old football player when she was 32 and still filming Real Housewives of Atlanta. So I went over there, I did shows before my family arrived, and then did shows after they left. And I realized that I'd come up with 20 minutes of material just on Asia. Zolkiak Bierman told E! News that she didn't want to tell anyone on set about him, because they're going to want to film it. The couple was successful at hiding their relationship until paparazzi snapped Zolkiak Bierman visiting her beau at a training camp for the Atlanta Falcons. So I was like, I'll record it. And then, it wasn't super high quality, but that prompted me to think, all right, where else can I do this throughout the world? And so Canada seemed like an obvious one, and Spain. Some of it's the challenge, and I was going to do Mexico, or Latin America, but the pandemic hit. Which country do you think had more delicious food? Canada or Spain? Well, I think Spain, beyond a doubt, you know? I mean, I love Canada, but Canada has much more of British roots than. When the story broke, Bierman got spooked by all the attention and broke up with Zolkiak Bierman over text, but they were back together within 24 hours. Zolkiak Bierman and her husband have come a long way since those early days spent hiding from the camera. And the Spaniards, there's just the Mediterranean right there. So, the food's amazing. Of all the things that you ate for your pale tourist tour, you mentioned Caesar clam juice cocktail, poutine, donair, tiger nuts, which was the delicacy you enjoyed the most? Well, poutine is pretty amazing, and donair is amazing, but in Spain, the jamon is amazing. It's just ham, but it's different from ours, you know? And just as bacon is different in different countries. But I would say, yeah, the Spanish food, there's something about, even like gazpacho, or some vegetable stuff in Spain is just amazing. And the tapas are really amazing. 
For almost eight seasons, they've been open and candid about their family life on Bravo's Don't Be Tardy, which documents the couple and their six kids, including two from her previous relationships. Luckily, TV fame hasn't changed the love they feel for one another. Netflix reality star Lauren Speed Hamilton fell in love with her man before even seeing him. Lauren Speed Hamilton and her gorgeous husband Cameron Hamilton met and fell in love in unusual circumstances, on the Netflix hit Love is Blind. They dated, shared their first I love yous, and got engaged before ever seeing each other, proving the theory right, love can be blind. It's just like having appetizers, right? Do you think American tourists would have trouble adapting to foods in these countries? Well, I think there's different cultural experiences in different countries. Yeah so, I mean, by the way, are we ever going to be able to travel again like that? Hopefully. But yeah, I think that Spain's also the cultural experience of ordering, and paella itself is a dish that takes a while to cook. But I think that in America, you wait for a deep dish pizza in Chicago, it takes forever, too. So I think where there's alcohol, there's patience. Did you actually eat all of the things that you talk about in your comedy routines, or do you just ever Google it to see what it tastes like? I pretty much try everything. You ate the tiger testicles? The tiger balls you mentioned in Spain? The thing is, it's actually not actual tiger. It's a nut that looks supposedly like that. But yeah. And it is really good. Speed Hamilton was the first to say I love you, without having even the slightest clue how gorgeous her man was. I couldn't believe I said that, Lauren confessed, as she and Hamilton reacted to their favorite scenes on their YouTube channel. I even enjoyed a glass of milk, I guess, but that drink that I drink in Valencia, which is not non-dairy, was far more refreshing than a glass of milk here. Have you added any foods you discovered while traveling to your everyday diet here in the U.S.? Oh yeah, no. I was feeling it too and I was very pleasantly surprised when you said it, Hamilton responded. The duo, who got to know one another by communicating through speakers in their individual pods, tied the knot shortly after meeting and are still happily married. Speed Hamilton took to Instagram to post a photo of the two on their wedding day with a long caption, comparing Hamilton to Prince Charming. No, there's nothing. He to me embodied everything I had dreamed of in my fairy tale, kind, smart, loving, selfless, brave, she wrote in the caption. Reality star Sadie Robertson Huff says married life is fun Sadie Robertson Huff of Duck Dynasty and Dancing with the Stars fame is loving married life with her gorgeous husband, Christian Huff. It's honestly so great to now be married and have a partner doing this with me, she told Entertainment Tonight, while promoting her new faith-based book Live. Being a wife is so fun, you wake up, go to sleep, do life together, share the stories together. This young couple is giving us all the feels, especially after watching their gorgeous wedding video, it showcases all the nuptial highlights, from the marriage vows to the first look, during their romantic ceremony at a Louisiana family farm, via people. Christian is just as gorgeous on the inside as he is on the outside, too. Following their wedding, Sadie shared with fans on Instagram that while honeymooning, Christian noticed the stretch marks his new wife unsuccessfully hid while wearing a bathing suit, and thought they were great. I mean, we've got five kids. There's no particular luxury that I've adapted to. And the jammin' is like there's just only so much, I ate so much jammin' in Spain, that I needed a break from it anyway. The weird foods Jim Gaffigan will and won't eat for his comedy routines What was the weirdest food you've ever had to eat to research for one of your routines? Wow. I'm finding it's pretty cool that the things I was insecure about my husband thinks are the best, she wrote in the caption. Candy Burris and her hubby make time for their marriage Marriage hasn't always been easy for them, but Real Housewives of Atlanta star Candy Burris and her gorgeous husband Todd Tucker, who rocks some serious arm tattoos, have managed to come out on top. This power couple knows how to stay busy, Burris is a singer-songwriter, actress, and restaurateur, while Tucker owns his own production company. Well, when I was in Iceland, they have some pretty crazy stuff in Iceland. Like there was a sheep's head, where they get it from a grocery store, and it's half of a sheep, their face, and you, eat the face. But kielbasa is its head, too, but that was pretty weird. Between them, they have four children, including two of their own, according to today. But there's also shark that is in Iceland, that is fermented in urine.
But despite their hectic schedules, Burris and Tucker managed to make time for each other, and vacation in tropical destinations like Jamaica. While the pair have surely had their highs, like any couple they've had their lows as well, especially when it came to expanding their family. According to People, the two already had a son, Ace, before welcoming a baby girl named Blaze via surrogate. And I couldn't even try it because it smelled so bad. Did you eat the sheep's head? I did eat the sheep head, and it wasn't bad. Did it taste like steak? Chicken. Chicken, or pork. It didn't even taste like lamb. Jim Gaffigan's everyday diet will surprise you what do you eat in a typical day? What's your usual breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks? Well, I mean, now it's changed. Surrogacy wasn't Burris' preferred option, but seeing as her pregnancy with Ace was risky, it was the safest way to have another baby. I'm trying to not eat bread or sugar. What? I know. So it's rather depressing, but I would say I cheat, you know what I mean? So I typically, we do this meal every night, dinner with the Gaffigans, where it's streamed live on YouTube. And so I usually reward myself there with something I enjoy. So whether it be bratwurst, or a hamburger, I'll have a bun, you know what I mean? But the sugar is easy, except for, so I'm eating a lot of fruit. A friend of mine made pickles, you know? Pickled things. To allow somebody to carry my child inside of them? It was a tough decision to make, she told us weekly before the birth of her daughter. I've been growing things. Regardless, these two make the most gorgeous babies together. Trista Sutter loves adventuring with her firefighter husband if you've religiously watched every Bachelorette season ever, you already know that Trista Sutter has a gorgeous husband. This is my zucchini phone, where I talk to people on the phone. Holds up artificial zucchini. I love zucchini. It's been almost 20 years since this adventure-loving duo met on the set of the famous ABC reality show, which starred Trista in the titular role, and somehow firefighter Ryan Sutter looks better than ever. It's a zucchini phone from the 80s. So, yeah. So it's not that exciting. Trista's decision to give Ryan the final rose all those years ago clearly paid off. The couple share two kids live an outdoorsy life in Vail, Colorado, according to Bustle, and Trista still gets to enjoy Ryan's six-pack. There's not the treats that I normally have. It's no wonder Trista has stuck around all these years, though she surely has a hot bod of her own. Ryan and Trista are as active and loving as ever, documenting their family hiking trips and swimsuit-clad island getaways on Instagram. In celebration of their 16th anniversary in 2019, Trista posted a throwback photo of the two on their wedding day. I don't know what the keto diet is, but I'm kind of doing that, maybe. So no Twinkies, and sardines, or anything like that? No. It is how I'm supporting my computer, is. Here, I'll show you this. Holds jumbo-sized box of snacks. So this Twinkies and Ding Dong box is what I'm supporting my computer on, because, to make it eye level, I guess? I don't know. Do you have a favorite junk food? Oh, gosh. She wrote in the caption, I jumped into this man's arms and our beautiful future together and have never looked back. She also said how thankful she is for the life they've created together. Denise Richards wed hot husband in Shotgun TV wedding Denise Richards' gorgeous husband, Aaron Fipers, gave women another reason to watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills when he made his TV debut during season 9 of The Bravo Show. And though his occupation is a little difficult to understand, we totally see why Richards loves him. After all, he's buff, has a luscious beard, and wears his hair long like the male lead on the cover of a romance novel. Yeah. We're sure he's a nice guy too. Richards, who wed Fipers during a shotgun TV wedding ceremony in California, isn't shy when it comes to talking about her gorgeous hubby. Well, it varies. She's even talked openly about the large size of her husband's genitalia on national TV to fellow Housewives co-stars. My openness definitely bit me in the ass a bit, Richards told the Washington Post of her past remarks on the show. However, at the end of the day, Richard says she's never been happier in a relationship than she is with Fipers. He's my best friend. He's my lover. I still love a burger, but junk food, I mean, I love chips. I wish I could eat chips. I'm trying to not eat chips. He's my confidant, she continued. I feel that we bring out the best in each other.
It was love at first sight for Christina Anstead and her English hubby HGTV star Christina Anstead as one lucky lady, as English hottie and wheeler dealers host Aunt Anstead as her gorgeous husband. But a real guilty pleasure, I love ice cream, but I would say. But I also, I've got kids, so there's candy. A flip or flop in Christina on the coast fame, Christina met her sweetie through a mutual friend and said the connection was instant. It was love at first sight, she told Extra in a sit-down video interview. I went through my 20s and there was no candy around. We've been together ever since. We don't blame Christina for falling so quickly, either. And then I had kids, and there's suddenly candy bars. So I love a candy bar, and then there's that fake candy bars. Ant is extremely handsome, even when he's wearing a casual t-shirt while creating a custom car build on his show. There's these kind bars, which are supposedly healthy, but they're just sugar. Do you have any foods from your childhood that you miss? Well, it's interesting because on the Mike and Pat show, I talked about the YouTube show, it is exposing my kids to all these things I ate as a kid. Can't get any hotter than that. He also cleans up well, if his wedding day is any indication. He wore a sharp gray suit during their surprise ceremony at their awe-worthy Newport Beach home in December of 2018. Christina met Ant after going through a very public divorce with ex-husband and flip or flop co-star Tarek El Moussa, with whom she shares two children. So the liverwurst was something my wife would eat as a kid. But baloney. She also became a mother three times over after giving birth to Ant's baby boy, Hudson London. Congratulations, you too. Reality star Kyle Richards manages to keep things spicy with her longtime hubby It's not difficult to keep things spicy when you're married to a stud like Mauricio Amansky, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, RHOBH, star Kyle Richards' gorgeous husband. Maybe that spiciness is the secret to their long-lasting marriage. Bologna, I have a strange attachment to bologna. I feel like if you've been married for 20 years in Beverly Hills, it's like being married for a hundred years somewhere else, Richards said on season 6 of RHOBH. Spaghetti O's, you know. Yeah. It's so unheard of, so I'm very proud of that. On most days, Amansky may be busy running his real estate firm, the agency, but he still manages to make time for his wife and their four daughters, Portia, Alexia, Sophia, and Farah, Richards' daughter from a previous marriage, according to Bravo. For example, in late July of 2020, Richards and Amansky escaped to Aspen, according to a post on Amansky's Instagram page. I would say baloney. Did we mention Mauricio is shirtless in the photo? If you didn't already love Amansky before, just read the caption he wrote along with the sexy snap. I just love hanging out with my best friend, favorite person, love of my life. Ah. Nicole Richie says punk rock hubby is a romantic and an old soul Joel Madden, the gorgeous husband of reality star Nicole Richie, may look like a bad boy with his black clothing and tattoos. But he's actually, very romantic, and, old-fashioned, which Richie revealed in an interview with 60 Minutes. Feels like childhood. Do you eat sushi? I do. When the Simple Life star first met her beau, who's the lead vocalist of the rock band Good Charlotte, she says she was surprised to discover that he was actually very shy. I couldn't get a read on him for the life of me, she continued. But it's the salmon row and stuff like that. I've tried it, but I can't get on there. You know what I mean. Are there foods you're squeamish about eating? Yeah. He's actually very careful, and an introvert. Richie also told 60 Minutes that the couple didn't really have a timeline on when they wanted to marry and have kids. I'm very. I'm kind of wimpy. Jim Gaffigan has a lot of opinions on American food. Were there any American foods you really missed while you were abroad? I would say, when we were in Asia, I did miss a burger, you know. I was gone for three weeks. But Madden knew Richie was the one when he met her, comparing the feeling to a religious experience. And by the way, things taste differently in different countries. It's a life-changing, cathartic event meeting the person you know is going to be your wife, he shared. Just when you didn't think it was possible for Madden to be more gorgeous. The two dated for over a year before welcoming their daughter Harlow followed by their son Sparrow, ultimately tying the knot in 2010. Reality star Lauren Conrad didn't want kids until she met her lawyer husband former Hills star and fashion designer Lauren Conrad gained notoriety for shedding a few mascara tears while filming the MTV series, a spin-off of Laguna Beach, which documented a group of young adult friends living in Los Angeles. 
Though she'd often cry on camera over boys and friendships, the one guy that's kept a smile on Conrad's face post hills is her gorgeous husband William Tell. Like a cheeseburger, even at the nice restaurant in London, doesn't taste right. Conrad met Tell, the former guitarist for the band Something Corporate, on a blind date in 2012. They tied the knot two years later in 2014, during a romantic sunset ceremony at a California winery. In her early 20s, Conrad wasn't sure she wanted to be a mom. But after meeting William, first changed my mind, she told People. Pizza in Italy's amazing, but pizza, or a burger. I knew I wanted to have a family with him. She wasn't in a rush, though, so the couple waited until they were ready to become parents. As planned, Conrad gave birth to their son Liam in 2017, and two years later to their second child, Charlie, according to an Instagram post. Like in Canada, they can't serve hamburgers anything below, I think, well done. It's like a health thing. What a dream come true. Nicole Snooky Polizzi puts her hubby over reality TV fame Nicole Snooky Polizzi has come a long way from her early MTV Jersey Shore days. Nowadays, Polizzi wears casual fashion in lieu of tube dresses as a wife and mother to three young kids, Lorenzo, Giovanna, and Angelo, via People. Polizzi wed her gorgeous husband Gianni Lavalli in a romantic, Gatsby-themed wedding in 2014, after meeting him at a club in New Jersey. A wild night of partying led to a one-night stand, Polizzi confessed on Larry King now. So all the burgers are well done. They always said that's not how you find true love, but that's how we found true love, she shared. But it wasn't love at first sight. In fact, Polizzi said she hated her future entrepreneur hubby at first, but thought he was cute and would suffice for the evening. So even if you go to a fancy restaurant, it has to be a well-done burger, so. With the Pale Tourist series, you've brought an American perspective to foreign foods. But it turned out to be more than a fling, as Polizzi found herself calling La Valle, and the rest was history. You won't see much of La Valle on the show's spin-off series, Jersey Shore, Family Vacation, since he doesn't like being on camera, as noted by In Touch. However, Polizzi announced her decision to leave the show in June 2020, saying it comes as her responsibilities grow as a mother and wife. Reality star Deanna Pappas Stagliano finds her husband's creativity sexy You may remember Deanna Pappas Stagliano from season 4 of The Bachelorette and season 11 of The Bachelor. If you were to look at American food from an outside perspective, what do you think is one of our stranger food customs that we have? Yeah. But unlike Bachelorette Trista Sutter, Stagliano didn't give her gorgeous husband the final rose. No, that's, what's so great about these international shows, it really holds up a mirror to what we eat. In fact, he was never even on The Bachelorette, though his twin brother was. Deanna finally found her happily ever after with her gorgeous hubby Steven Stagliano after kissing a few frogs on live TV, including ex fiance Jesse Sinsack. But the pair never made it down the aisle, which turned out to be for the best. I'm proud I never settled, she proclaimed in an interview with E! News. I think there is a certain denial about hot dogs, that is pretty ridiculous. I think I really could have. So what's Deanna's fave things about her hubby? For starters, she finds his creativity and sense of humor really sexy, she said. The parents of two are totally hash couple goals on Instagram, and we don't blame Deanna for not being able to keep her hands off Steven. But if you have kids, it's like. Even ribs are just incredibly barbaric. In March 2020, she posted a cute photo of the two sitting on a couch together, including their family dog. But I don't know, there's a lot of stuff that I don't partake in, that some people love. Like liverwurst is disgusting, in my thought, but my kids love it. Jim Gaffigan's kids are adventurous eaters Do you think your tastes in food have changed since you've been a parent? I think, yeah, maybe a little bit. I definitely pretend to be more interested in vegetables than I would have otherwise. She wrote in the caption, trying to abide by social distancing but he's just so handsome. We understand, Deanna. Brie Bella and her WWE hubby work hard to keep the passion alive Total Bella's star Brie Bella looks up to her gorgeous husband Daniel Bryan not just as a man, but also as a father to their daughter Birdie and their baby on the way. Few things are hotter than a family man, especially one as ripped as Brian, and as Bella can attest, he's rockin' it in that department. 
but I also would say that the weird thing is, is sometimes, I used to eat seafood occasionally. I would eat shrimp, and crab, and lobster. And then I did all this material on seafood being bugs from the ocean. And it affected me where, I mean, I think about shrimp as cockroaches, I think about lobster as these sea monsters. And so, it backfired in a way. So, did your kids eat all of these delicacies with you, when they were traveling with you? Well, in Asia, they were with me in Asia, but they weren't with me. Brie took to Instagram on May 22, 2020 to wish her hubby a happy birthday, accompanied by the sweetest post of the two kissing over a restaurant table. They were supposed to meet me in Latin America. He's bright and sick, my life is so many ways and watching him as a dad is the most beautiful thing to see. Love you sweetface, all the way to Neptune. Of course, it's not all roses and rainbows for Bella and Brian. With marriage, kids, and life in general, rough patches can happen to the best of couples. And that was cancelled. So they would have. Total Bella fans have watched on E! As Brian and Bella have hit highs and lows in their marriage, including Bella admitting she didn't want a second child. A lot may have changed since filming, but it seems like these lovebirds are going to be alright. Reality star Cameron Eubanks trusts her doctor hubby with her life someone call 911, because Cameron Eubanks of Southern Charm fame has a gorgeous husband. Eubanks may have wed Jason Wimberly in 2014 on a historic plantation, via reality T, but Southern Charm fans didn't officially meet her anesthesiologist hubby until the season 6 finale in 2019. I was excited, because in Peru they eat guinea pigs. Wimberly managed to stay away from the cameras for several seasons, while his wife starred in the reality TV show about Charleston socialites. He's very supportive, Eubanks told Glamour about her gorgeous husband, noting that he was, the one who pushed, her, to do the show. But when she did agree to it, she said she didn't want her love life on national TV, especially since they weren't yet married. I know it sounds gross, but supposedly it's amazing. And so they're usually semi-adventurous, but not crazy adventurous. Yeah. No. I kept that separate from the show, Eubanks continued, adding that, reality TV is not for everyone, including her husband. Though we won't see this couple on any future Southern Charm seasons, since Eubanks announced her departure from the show on Instagram in May 2020, we'll still get to see her gorgeous hubby on her socials, along with their daughter. My youngest, the way we do breakfast is we always have our kids eat fruit before they have carbs or anything like that. And my youngest, Patrick, he only likes an apple if it's not cut. So he doesn't like watermelon. But he's also just kinda being stubborn. Jim Gaffigan reveals how he really feels about Hot Pockets Do you eat Hot Pockets now? I don't. And the weird thing about Hot Pockets is I never said anything positive about it, but people assume I love them. And I would say there's also, it's made more complicated by the fact that people yell, Hot Pockets, to me in airports and grocery stores. But it's weird, I have this YouTube channel, and I'm posting a video every day on my YouTube channel. And one of the series of videos is having my younger kids try things that I ate, like a Hot Pocket. So they tried it, and they loved it. Which is kind of ironic. But so, yeah, that's weird. What inspired your Hot Pockets routine? Well, the Hot Pocket thing was, I mean, this is going back 15 years ago, it was really that the commercial was so bad. It showed this mom giving their kids hot pockets, and the song, and the jingle was so silly. It was just this rip-off of an epanada, or a Jamaican meat pie. It just seemed like a clumsy name. It just seemed really silly. And so that's where. It just stuck with me. I thought the commercial felt like an SNL sketch. So I did it as a joke, I developed a couple of jokes on it, not realizing that it would be as big as it got. It was just more about the commercial. I hadn't really eaten one, because at the time I lived in New York City. I understand Hot Pockets are very convenient for a quick meal, or a teenager, or college student. But when you're in New York City, you can just walk into a pizza parlor, and get a slice, right? So I ended up trying it on the first special. I had tried it before, just spending time in hotel rooms, but I had a barbecue beef one, that was horrendous, when I taped the Beyond the Pale special. Did the Hot Pockets company ever reach out to you? Oh, yeah. There was talk of me being in a commercial, but I didn't want to do it. If I died right now, I'd still be, I'd be known as the Hot Pocket guy. It's like, I don't want to just be known for that. 